Good morning. I'm enjoying my coffee because it's cold out here, which I love. I like it when it's just chilly enough to wear a, a little jacket. So I was thinking about doing my video this morning and how much I'm actually really enjoying doing this series. And it struck me that I would have never, ever done this when I was in corporate for a couple of reasons. One is they're not perfect, right? I mean, I let the camera roll and whatever happens, happens. Uh, and the other one is I'd have been really, really worried about what other people thought. So this has been the biggest, I'll say, mindset shift for me as I moved into being a full-time entrepreneur. I started my side hustle about five years before I left corporate. And I was always super careful with what I posted on social media, uh, what I would say on social media, how I would talk about my business with other people because I never ever wanted my company or my colleagues to get the impression that I was more focused on my side business than I was on my corporate career. The other thing about that is I wanted, I, I had a certain persona in corporate, right? Not that I was being fake, but I wanted to really be seen as that professional woman who was rising in her career, and that was super important um, in the corporate setting. And so, like, I would never have come on camera wearing a flannel and just, you know, kind of talking. And when I first became a full-time entrepreneur, I still really, really struggled with the difference in how I show up. Because as an entrepreneur, you want to really show more of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your business is about, what your passion is behind that business. And it's less about kind of being buttoned up and it's more about being very vulnerable and open and that was super uncomfortable because I had spent my career really being thoughtful, uh, playing office politics really well, I was very good at that. Um, and enjoyed it. Like, I loved my corporate life. So I'm not saying that it was bad. It's just that you do show up a little bit differently when you're rising through an organization than you do when you're an entrepreneur. And so it was really hard for me to make that shift. In fact, when I first um, became unemployed, so I got laid off. Thank you, Avnet, for laying me off because I never would have done this full time if I hadn't gotten laid off. But when I first got laid off, I was still really careful. Like I would think, what would my colleagues think? What would my CEO think if he comes across my post? Um, you know, what will potential employers think? And I got so wrapped up in that, that I was super safe and super careful. And I still built an amazing community, but not like the community I have today, where I've got a ton of interaction and um, I have other entrepreneurs who I collaborate with. It's just very, very different. And what I've learned is, you know, social media is like dancing. Nobody's watching you because they're too worried about themselves and they think everybody's watching them. And I got stuck in that loop as well where I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's going to see this. Well, guess what? A yeah, a few people see it and people comment, but mm, your colleagues are probably more worried about how they're showing up on social media than how you are. So. I'm just curious if you have a side hustle or if you move from corporate to entrepreneurship, did you feel that weird internal struggle on how much of yourself you kind of show up with? Um, I love this. Like it feels very freeing, it, but it's still hard. Like I still find myself stopping and wondering, well, what will so-and-so think? Or um, you know, am I going to hurt my brand if I do this or if I say that or what can I, what should I post? What's going to be valuable? And I'm really learning to just kind of go, you know, heck with it. Uh, I'm going to be me. I have the products and services that I have. My audience is primarily professional women and it's also leaders who are um, wanting to lead change better in their organization. So, you know what? I, that, that's what I do. And being me is the absolute best way that I'm gonna attract the right people and the right community and the right level of support for me personally and my business and my brand. So um, yeah, it's still a little bit of a struggle, but holy cow, is this just so much more fun. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you have had a side hustle and a corporate job or jump from corporate to entrepreneurship. Uh, did you kind of struggle with that difference in how you show up? Any tips you have would be great. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.